Hey guys, today we are adventuring around Canada. Yeah, Canada. So we're at the start of the Ivanhoe Cross. It says not to cross if the um, water is above, like there's a little mark on the pillar. Join us on this episode as we tackle the Ivanhoe Crossing. I'm Beck and this is Nick. We share our passion for adventure through these videos, not only around Australia but around the world. Going to some of the most exquisite locations. Subscribe and seek life with us. Last week we left you after we rolled into Kununurra. This week we take on Ivanhoe Crossing and the Ord River. It doesn't take Nick and Josh long. They are down the track seeking adventure. Hey guys, today we are adventuring around Kununurra. Yeah, Kununurra. First stop is Ivanhoe Crossing. We didn't do the Gibb River Road. But we saw we thought we'd like pick and choose bits off it and you can get to the Ivanhoe Crossing. From what we're saying. From what we're saying. It's that iconic photo you see of people walk, um, driving across like that spillway um, in the Kimberley. So it's we're gonna go to about that. a 15 minute drive from yeah, the Kimberley. Fast. Yeah, so it's a 15 minute drive from where we're staying and we're just on our way now. So we're at the start of the Ivanhoe Crossing. We're just about to go through. Right here. Got Nick and my brother and his girlfriend as well. So we just got to the Ivanhoe Crossing and it says not to cross if the um, water is above, like there's a little mark on the pillar. I'll try and see if I can get up close to one and show you guys. And it's kind of like, it's not on it on the edge, but in the middle, it's like just on it. So I think the boy's gonna try and chuck up the drone and see what it's like. We survived the first water crossing. We were stoked. So we just got through the first crossing, which is just over there, and now we've just got to get through this one. We're just seeing it's just a bit rocky, I think, by the looks of it. But it doesn't look to be too deep. There's like a little hole that says the depth on it, and it looks all right from here. Here we go, the second half. We 
made it through the Ivanhoe Crossing, one off the bucket list for us. It was now time to adventure up the Ord River. We ventured just up past the crossing, then took a right down into the river flats. We were trying to find somewhere to have lunch. And who doesn't love a little explorer along the way? Hello, my name's Josh and we're doing water crossings today. You know, you got to let guys down. It's better to be safe than sorry. It was time to get some pinstripes on the old Luxie as we weaved our way through the bush down near the Ord River. The Ord River is a 320 kilometre, 200 mile long river in the Kimberley region, Western Australia. The river's catchment covers 46,100 square kilometres. This river houses the most estuarine crops in the whole of Northern Australia. Are we going that way? No. We followed the track right to the end. It sort of came to a dead end. We turned around and pushed back through the water crossings to find a spot for lunch. If you couldn't tell earlier, I was frothing at all these water crossings and all this forward driving we were doing. So we just found this little spot, it's just over a little crossing around the corner where the river's flowing, just over there we just came over that hill. We just took a little dip because it's like 39 degrees I think. And we're just gonna have some lunch, I think we're gonna have some enchiladas and then we might go find a waterfall or some water holes or something around. But yeah, it's so nice here. We ate lunch and headed back over the Ivanhoe crossing. There were some locals fishing as we crossed. We pushed back to Kimberley Land. Beck and I still had an itch for adventure. On our next episode, check in with us and we show you all the cool lookouts around Kaminara. Thanks for watching guys. That's another video done. If you enjoyed this one, leave a like. And if you want to seek life with us, smash that subscribe button.